Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Livy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve Katy Perry's signature statement look from the years like 2009 to about 2011 before she decided to chop her hair off. This is pretty much her statement makeup look and I wanted to create a video because so many people are like, Livs, you look quite similar to her and I was like, mm, okay, thanks because she's not exactly bad looking so I'll take it but I wanted to show you guys how to get her look so if you want to see how to do this then just keep watching. Start with a mattifying foundation. I'm using a combo of two Revlon foundies which are colour stay and photo ready. When you mix them together they form a really good base and they make your skin look banging. Basically I'm just going to whack that all over, kind of smooth it in and I'm going to use my Japanese Safari brush to blend it out because it's so good. It's a really really good brush. For concealer, I'm going to use the Healthy Mix one from Bourjois to brighten my under eyes, conceal the areas around my nose and cover any blemishes. I've been using my Sonic Lens and the PMD to clean out my skin and it's at the purging stage at the moment which is really delightful because my skin vaguely resembles a pepperoni pizza. So for my under eyes, I'm going to create a triangular shape moving from the corner of my eye down towards my cheeks and then back up my cheekbones, if you know what I mean. This basically makes my eyes look way brighter. And I'm going to pop some around the corners of my nose and some on the top of my eyes just to hide any veins and also along the bridge of my nose just to brighten it up. I like to kind of pat it in with my fourth finger and then use the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to blend it out. And then I kind of smooth it over again with my fingers. I pretty much just push the concealer in where needed and then sort of pat on top with my fingers. Now I'm going to set my foundation and concealer with a translucent powder. My favourite is the Makeup Forever HD powder and I'll be using my Japanese Safari Kabuki brush to apply it so I kind of use this for everything. It's synthetic and it's gorge I tell you, it's brilliant. Just pat the powder all over the areas that you actually need setting, you know the areas where you get most oil. The lipstick that she's wearing in the picture is a dark but quite a bright pink. I'm going to use Lickable by MAC. She's not actually wearing any gloss so just pop on a really vibrant magenta. should look something like that when you're done. Now Katie is wearing three different shades of blush. They've been used to contour, shade and highlight, so I'll be using two different brushes. One's pointed and is amazing for contouring, and the other is angled and drags the blush up the cheekbones brilliantly. All the blushes are by MAC, so I'm going to use Well Dress as my lightest shade, Dame as my medium shade, and Blush Baby as my contour shade. Start by contouring your cheekbones and drag the blush downwards towards your mouth. In the picture, hers is actually really far forward, which I imagine is for the photograph rather than for its wearability. Blend it out a little so it doesn't look too harsh. Next take your medium shade and apply it just above your contour shade. You want it to add some colour and to kind of blend in nicely with the darker blush. And just blend it out again. Now you want to take your lightest shade and sweep it up the cheekbones. This blush is going to act as a highlight as well. Make sure you pick a light blush that does actually have a sheen to it. And it should look a little something like this when you're finished. I'm going to fill my brows in with a MAC 214 brush, as well as a mixture of MAC's charcoal brown and carbon shadows. Since I dyed my hair, I dyed my eyebrows as well to make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm going to use really short, sharp strokes to create false brow hairs, fill in my arches, and create a slightly longer tail than I have already. I always start at the front of my brows really short, sharp upward strokes. Then I fill in my arch where needed. And then I extend the tail. Katie has really thick brows in this picture, so just make sure you kind of over enhance your own ones a little. Now I'm gonna set them using a clear brow gel. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna start by applying a matte black shadow to my lids. I'm using Max Carbon. I'm going to pat the shadow across the bulk of my lid, but making sure I stop at my crease line. I'm actually using a Real Technique shadow brush to apply it. You will need a clean blending brush to soften the edges. I'm also going to create a little wing with the shadow, and then I'm going to blend that out as well. You want it to look soft and smoky. 
Now I'm going to take a MAC pigment, and this is in the shade Frost, which is a really shimmery white, and pop it just under my brows to highlight my brow bone. And I'm just going to soften it with my fingers, just to kind of make sure it isn't too prominent. Now taking a pencil brush, I'm going to smooth the matte black shadow along my lower lash line. You want it to be really thick on the outer corner and sort of thin out as it moves inwards. Something like that. For the silvery hit that she's wearing in the picture, I'm going to use Tiara by Sugar Pill, which is this amazing silver pigment that has a little bit of shine to it. Sugar Pill eyeshadows are completely vegan, they're cruelty free, and they are gorgeous. Taking my pencil brush again, I'm going to push that silver shade into the black eyeshadow and smooth it along my lash line. Now I'm going to take the really, really light shimmery white shade again on a really tiny accenting brush from Real Techniques and pop that on my inner corners. You just want to brighten them up a little bit and blend it out into the black and the silver shadows. Katie wears a lot of liquid eyeliner. I'm using the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Liner because it's my favy. I'm going to create a winged line which consists of drawing the line really close to your eyelashes, thickening it as you draw outwards, and then I'm going to paint a really thin line in my inner corners and drag it out to my outer ones. You want to create a really tiny triangle on the edge and then fill it in to make the wing. Like that. Now you want to line your waterline with a white pencil liner, so I'm using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And for your lower lash line, use a black pencil liner. I'm going to use another NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, and I'm applying it with a small angle brush to make it look soft and smoky. Now you can either use false lashes or a really heavy load of mascara. I personally hate wearing false lashes, so I'm going to curl my own with my Shuamura Curler and apply a bucket load of mascara. I love combining the L'Oreal Telescopic with the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. Layer it up on top and apply a fair bit on your lower lashes as well. You pretty much want your lashes to resemble Bambi's. I like to start with the L'Oreal Telescopic because it holds a curl really well and then push the smoky lash on top. And it should look a little something like this when you're finished. And that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know if you want to see more videos similar to this. Not necessarily ones looking at a certain celebrity's look in a music video, just like trying to emulate a certain celebrity's look. If you want to see that, let me know in a comment below because as you know, I love your feedback. I'm going to be doing some more DIY ones after the feedback from the last one, which was so, so positive. So I'm so glad you guys liked it. And I think that's it. I'm going to see you guys soon with my next video. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye-bye.